It's super hot, you want to beat the heat, but you don't want to look like this. Oh boy, she is a hot mess. But don't worry, in this video I'm sharing all of my top style hacks to help you look and feel cool even in the extreme heat. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. I know for many of you, there have been record breaking temperatures, 100 plus, super duper heat, right? For those of you who don't know, or maybe you're new here, I used to live in a hot climate for eight years, lived in South Texas, right? Now we have four seasons in Colorado and it's much more mild. Extreme heat is very challenging in the style department because you literally just feel like you wanna walk around naked. I showed you in the beginning, you don't wanna end up being this gal, you know, outside with the fan, with the bra top and the short shorts and <laughs> pouring water down the front of yourself. It's just not a good look. So you wanna find a way to stay cool, beat the heat but also look cool look chic and that's kind of the key and I did do a video fairly recently talking about some of the ways you can actually stay covered more covered and gave you some outfit ideas so you can go back and watch that video after this one this video is a complete guide I'm sharing all of the tips for looking stylish and chic in the heat tip number one skip heavy duty bras. Go with a bralette instead. I recently got one by Spiritual Gangster that I really like. It is a ribbed crop bra tank kind of hybrid and I feel like it, it really holds things in and feels I feel supported when I wear this crop tank. I also like that it has a deep scoop and the ribbed texture so that it looks really great under things. Anything that has a scoop or v-neck, anything that kind of is a little bit open when you unbutton it, and also under anything sheer. It really does make a great layering piece, but I'm using it also as a bra. So underwire, mm-mm, no, nope. ah. super padded bras. You just really want to wear something simple. So I like the Spiritual Gangster one. I have another one by ALC. I wear this all the time, just on its own. It holds me in. I like these by Express too. They're the same concept, but they don't hold you in as well. And they're not going to help you if you get cold, if you know what I'm saying, with the nipple effect. Any kind of cami with a built-in shelf bra or a bralette, I think is a better option in the extreme heat than the heavy duty traditional underwire padded bra. That's number one. Two, wear your hair up off your neck. It's tempting if you're doing something, you know, to wear your hair down because it often looks better down and you may prefer it down, but in extreme heat, don't mess around. This is one of the zones where you get really hot, the back of your neck. Like if you put a cool compress on the back of your neck, you can instantly cool down. So making sure that you really keep your hair, especially if it's longer, off of your neck. Put it up off your face too. Number three, wear open-toed shoes. This is not the time to be wearing your sneaks, especially <laughs> shearling lined sneakers or your closed toe ballet flats. This is the time to wear something that is open and will allow your feet to breathe. I love these for dressy because they do have the mesh strap across the top and these straps are very minimal. So in terms of keeping you cool, like a special event, for example, these would be amazing. Or you could do just a regular flat sandal. I have some slide on ones by Sam Metalman in gold. I have another pair that has crystals at the top. Anything that's gonna allow your feet to breathe. This pair by Mark Fisher, you know, super chic, low block heel. You don't wanna go with anything too heavy duty. Like I have a pair of C by Chloe platforms that I love, but they have a really thick strap around the ankle and they have some pretty thick straps around the feet. I probably wouldn't do those in extreme heat because I think you would sweat and the leather would kind of, you would slide around in the leather. So just something very minimal. You don't want a lot of straps. You don't want a lot of fuss. You don't, you just keep it really simple. Like one strap across the top, slide on mule, like my Veronica Beard Raffia mules, those are perfect and you're done. That's gonna keep you cooler. By the way, I have to tell you guys, I was shooting my my little like desperate in the heat video clip, which I think is hilarious, but right when I was shooting it, like the blind people came to install blinds downstairs and no one else was here like to answer the door. So <laughs> I'm like in the bathroom with a piece of toilet paper like 
really quickly trying to get like at least the semblance of a normal face because I had like the lipstick all over and the mascara. Maybe don't do that in the future, Erin. I don't know. Next up, straw hats. Hats can add a lot of heat. In the extreme heat, you want to be really careful about the type of hat you wear. So the beautiful thing about a hat when it's super hot and sunny is that it will keep you sun safe. It will protect your skin, especially right here from the sun. And that does keep you cooler by keeping the sun away from your head and your face. But just be really sure that you're picking a straw hat that is more of a open weave. So this one I love by Rag & Bone, but it's super tight in the weave. This one is a little bit looser. So see how this one is more open of a weave versus this one is tighter. I took a, a straw hat with me to the Middle East when it was really hot. It was really hot in Egypt, really hot by the Dead Sea. And it really was such a pivotal piece to have in terms of keeping me cool. Next up, breathable fabrics. The fabric choice is critical. And I talked about this in the video I did fairly recently about dressing chic in the heat. Fabrics like cotton, cotton poplin, chambray, linen. A lot of you have asked me about silk. Silk is technically a breathable fabric. However, I think it's very delicate and difficult to care for, you know, if you get like sweaty pits or whatever. Also, personally for me, like I can't sleep in silk pajamas, for example, anymore because I get too hot, I get sweaty. So it makes me hotter. So I do not like silk on a hot day. So I think this is a little bit of a personal preference. You can try it and see. So a couple of my favorite cotton dresses of the moment are my Alexis green dress that I brought with me to the Middle East and have worn a ton. It's that silky cotton poplin. It's kind of wrinkle resistant and has short sleeves. It's got a longer skirt, but it keeps you cool because of the fabric, that breathable fabric. I have the same dress in white, a shorter length. I also just got this cute little chambray dress from Evereve by Cloth and Stone, I believe, that I think is a really easy breezy kind of piece to throw on. Chambray is another one of those breathable, lightweight, kind of silky on the skin fabrics that can be great to wear in the extreme heat. I'm going to show you a linen dress coming up and you guys are going to be shocked. Why? Because I bought a linen dress. Along those lines, let's talk about number six, which is wearing loose fitting dresses specifically. You don't want anything that's too clingy. This is not the time to bust out the, the tank dress or the really fitted ruched dress. This is a time to wear those breathable fabrics that are looser fitting, that really flow and allow like breeze to come in. Those are going to keep you cooler. So I showed you an example recently, a one shoulder maxi by Splendid in a blue kind of floral print. That's a, an example of a loose fitting dress. I have a pink one by Saloni, which has longer sleeves, but very, very lightweight fabric. So it's breathable. Another example is this sort of swing dress by Ever Even Black. And I know black is traditionally not a great color in the heat because it does attract the heat. There's a trade off there because black is very sophisticated and slimming. Another one I have is an Alice and Olivia pink dress, also has long sleeves. It's mini length, but it's cotton. So it's very breathable. And then one of my favorites is this white kind of pleated cotton Jonathan Simkai dress with a cutout just under the bust at the waistline, just a little bit higher than the natural waistline. This one is long sleeve and a longer dress, but again, breathable fabric, wrinkle resistant, you know, light color. So it's going to keep you cooler. For the thing you can hardly believe, this new Zimmerman dress in linen, purple, with a beautiful print at the top. I found this in California and decided that I was gonna buy a linen dress because it was just that beautiful. It felt very regal to me, like very like something a queen or a princess would wear. And I thought that I deserve to feel like a queen or a princess <laughs> this summer. But it also is very flowy. It has that breathable fabric. It has short sleeves. But the beautiful thing is it offers such great coverage too. So it keeps you sun safe. You obviously don't have to go like this high end with your linen dress. You can find one that really fits and flatters you and also fits beautifully into your budget. But again, just thinking about the breathable fabrics, the looser fitting silhouettes, 
and the lighter colors. Next up, skip jeans and opt instead for shorts or skirts. Same sort of concept as the dress. It allows for more airflow and wind and breeze and it doesn't stick to you, it doesn't cling. You know, when you're wearing like a tighter fitting pant, it's actually like encasing your skin, which is going to heat it up. So in contrast, shorts that are a little roomier or a skirt is going to be a lot cooler. I've done a couple of videos about wearing shorts, particularly wearing shorts over 40, that is chock full of tips on how to pick out the perfect pair of shorts. Just one thing I would consider for the heat is that you probably want to make sure, again, it's a looser fitting short around the legs. It's also in a breathable fabric. It's also in a lighter color. So probably on a hundred degree day, it's not the time to bust out your denim shorts, right? Or your faux leather shorts. Skirt, same thing. I'd skip a faux leather skirt. I'd wear instead a lighter color, maybe an eyelet, maybe a seersucker, maybe just straight up cotton or cotton poplin, maybe even an A-line silhouette so it's a little bit flowier. I wanted to show you one that I bought recently by Alice and Olivia that is very lightweight. It has these very subtle tiers and a beautiful yellow and green floral print. I really love this skirt. I paired it with a short sleeve flowy C by Chloe top that I'll talk more about in a minute. I really love this skirt because not only is it kind of a statement piece because it has this beautiful print and these colors, it also is a longer length, which I think is very elegant and classy. And then also it is incredibly cool um, and comfortable which I think is important too. So it has an elastic waistband. If you do want to wear pants, I would look for pants with the same criteria that I've talked about for shorts and skirts. Look for pants that are lighter colored. Look for pants with a looser, flowier fit. Look for pants with an elastic waistband. So I have a pair that I've showed you guys before by Rails that I've worn quite a bit that I think are really lovely and they look chic, but they feel like pajamas and they're just paper thin. They also don't wrinkle, which is also wonderful. It's that gauzy cotton fabric that really is around a lot this year. I've shown a, personally a couple of tops that are in the same fabric. You know, I have my Rails white button down shirt in that fabric. I have a white cap sleeve top in that fabric. And then I have another new black kind of keyhole top in that fabric. So it's great because it doesn't wrinkle and it's also very natural breathable. Number eight, sleeves. Let's talk about sleeves. So obviously you could do spaghetti straps or sleeveless and that would be quite cool. Personally, I like short sleeves because it gives me a little bit of coverage and sun protection. I tend to burn right here. And I think also short sleeves can be quite elegant if you're worried about you know this at all, the short sleeves will cover that. So to me, short sleeves are wonderful, but listen, I will also bust out some long sleeves even on the hottest day, as long as as what? Yep, you guessed it. It's a breathable lightweight fabric and it's a looser fit in a lighter color. So my Rails white button down would be an example of that. I've highlighted my Zadig and Voltaire pink and white striped shirt. I would wear that. Anything that's super lightweight. I have a bunch of dresses that I just showed you guys with long sleeves. I would totally wear those. I also just showed you guys the two gauzy cotton tops that are great, the white one and the black one. I love Nation LTD tees, which I've showed a lot because those are lightweight and breathable, but they're also, they have some design detail that makes them a little bit more elevated, like a puff shoulder, puff sleeve. This tee is another example. This one is by C by Chloe, and you can see it has some pleated sleeves. That's a really interesting detail as well. I also prefer sometimes a neckline more like this, a more conservative crew neck, because it keeps this area covered in the sun which for me, like I've blistered a ton right here. It's a very sensitive spot for me in terms of sun exposure. So I really love to keep my chest covered up. So along the same lines as sleeves, I wanna talk about the length of your top. I think especially if you're wearing shorts or a skirt and you're not doing a dress, it's important to have something that is shorter in length, a crop top. The reason the crop top is important is because the last thing you wanna do on a hot, hot day is tuck 
anything in. So you're either gonna do that tiny little half tuck so there's just a little section in the front tucked in or you're gonna find something that is cropped so you don't have to tuck in at all. So this C by Chloe top is an example of something that is more of a cropped length. If I pair it with this skirt, I can tuck it in just a tiny bit in the front to define the waist, but that's it. It's not like I'm adding a bunch of fabric right around that tighter elastic waistband, which will just make you feel sweaty. Another thing you can do if you're wearing like a white t-shirt, for example, which is a real heavy hitter in the summer, a white cotton tee, you can just knot it at the waist and that can feel better than trying to tuck it in too so that you're not adding that extra fabric in the waistband, which definitely can add heat and make you sweat more. Be sure to stick around all the way to the end because I have some beauty tips for the heat too. And the next tip is to skip layers. Now you guys know how I always talk about the third layer. It adds so much polish to your look, but if it's sweltering hot, like I've seen the comments like, ah, it's hot and I don't wanna wear a third layer. Don't wear the layer. You're in survival mode in that kind of heat. So just skip the third layer. You know, you can do other things. You can wear a great necklace or, you know, do something like with your hat or sunglasses or other accessories that will add that polish you're looking for. Don't worry about the layer. So skip the layers when it is extremely hot. Unless you're gonna do something like this that is literally paper thin, like this over a cami, that could be a third layer. But otherwise, skip it. In the extreme heat, you might wanna consider your makeup as well, especially if you're going to be outdoors for any length of time. If you wanna keep your makeup on through the heat, I would definitely do some sort of powder. I usually do powder kind of right here, a little bit here in the corners of my um, eyes, and then also a bit here just around the nose and the cheeks. And this is the powder I typically use. It's the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder with SPF 50 plus. I use this to keep you know, a little bit of evenness and coverage. And then I set it with this, which is Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is a little bit sticky going on, but I promise you, that makeup is gonna stay, stay, stay. Another thing to consider is your hair. So if you're in a really humid climate, Mm, South Florida maybe, you're going to wanna do something that's gonna keep the frizz at bay. I don't even really have curly hair. I do have a wave to my hair. We have zero humidity here, but still look at how fuzzy my hair gets. So I can put some of this on my hair to just calm it down. This is the Living Proof Instant Defrizzer Spray. Let's do a quick recap. Bralette instead of a heavy duty bra or an underwire bra. Hair up, off your neck, off your face. Open toe shoes. No closed toe shoes in the heat. Straw hats, breathable fabrics like cotton, linen, cotton poplin, chambray, looser fitting dresses, looser fitting clothing in general, shorts and skirts versus denim or pants. Consider your sleeve length, sleeveless short sleeve are going to be better. Crop tops, that'll prevent you from having to tuck anything in and adding heat around the tummy area and skipping layers. Don't forget about your makeup and your hair. Let us know if you guys have any questions. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Maybe share my channel over on your Facebook page with your friends, I'd really appreciate that. It really helps spread the word. I hope you all beat the heat and stay and feel cool. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.